Good mythical morning, Brian. Today is September 25th, 2023. We are on a white belt schedule, and this is Brian Daily. The Christian College Fair is this Wednesday, September 27th from 6 to 8 p.m. in the gym. This is an amazing opportunity for you to connect with college reps and see what colleges have to offer. Invite your family and friends, register online, and come. Students, our Berean stickers are finally available in the office. There's also a chance to enter to win all eight stickers for free. Scan this QR code right now, which will take you to a Google form to enter your name for a chance to win. The winning student will be chosen at random, and there's a limited amount of each sticker, so get yours before they sell out. The Air Air Force and Space Force will be visiting in the quad at lunch today. Come by the table to learn about ROTC scholarships, reserves, active duty, and career opportunities in the military. This past week, all five freshman English classes performed their mock trials for the study of Richard Connell's famous short story, The Most Dangerous Game. Every class put on its own spirited and exciting trial to determine whether the defendant, Sanger Rainsfield, is guilty or not guilty of first degree murder. Here are the verdicts from each class. Second, fifth, and sixth period found not guilty. First and seventh period came back with a guilty verdict. Well done, freshman. Well done, freshman. What? Today, there will be a meeting in B1, Miss Walsh's room during lunch. Make sure to come and attend. If you have any questions, contact Anch, Ellen, or I. Boys soccer will be having a meeting on October 2nd at lunch on the football field with the new coach. Make sure to be there on time. The See You at the Pole event is coming up next week on Wednesday. At lunch, students can meet by the flagpole in the back of the school behind the gym to pray together for the school and the community, as well as the nation, as well as the world. All are welcome to come immediately after fourth period. This is a national event and students throughout the country will be gathering at their school's flag with poles to pray on Wednesday. If you are interested in playing baseball this year and looking to get stronger, come out to the morning workouts in the weight room. Workouts are Mondays, Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays. We start at 640. Don't forget to bring your gloves. Hope to see you there. Talk to Max McTie, Gaming You, or Ivor Vertofo for more information. Seniors, if you are applying to a college that needs a counselor or teacher, letter of recommendation, make sure to complete your personal data sheet this week. Don't delay. Drop by the College and Career Center if you have any questions. That's it for announcements, Berean. I'm Ellen. I'm Natalie. <laughs> I'm Aiden. And this is Berean Daily. Good morning, Berean. Welcome to the principal's office. Um, Mr. Harris here. I wanted to start something new with you guys, a, a devotion that I'd like to jump on and maybe some other uh, faculty members and administrators uh, can come on from time to time and give you a devotion. Uh, but this week, I wanted to follow up on my comments in a chapel and at the beginning of the school year about bringing your Bible to chapel. Right, and and I, you, there's so many verses you could choose in in the Bible. But the one I chose was is Hebrews 4:12. It's a very familiar verse, and it reads, "For the word of God is living and active, sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing to the division of soul and spirit, of joints and marrow, and discerning the thoughts and intentions of the heart. And no creature is hidden from his sight, but all are naked and exposed to the eyes of him to whom we must give account." Right? This is not just a book, right? This book is the Word of God itself, right? 800 thousand words are in this this book right here and God has told us who he is he's told us who we are and he's told us how to relate to him right and it's also more than anything else it tells us how we can be saved how we can be made right um, with God you know have you ever been in Mr. Richter's classroom right if you've been in Mr. Richter's classroom freshman I don't I don't know some of you haven't been in there but it's filled with Christian art like some some masterpieces from history and so there's tons of Rembrandts there's Da Vinci's there's all kinds of just the masters of, of art and, and Christian art in there. Okay, and here's here's one by Rembrandt, right? This is a famous painting by Rembrandt of, of a soldier, right? And so, you know, some people look at this and they think, you know, Rembrandt was painting the, the picture of the full armor of God. You know, still others think that, you know, maybe it's uh, Alexander the Great or some other famous general from history. I like to think that Rembrandt, who also had uh, three or four other masterpieces um, in Mr. Richter's classroom. I like to think that Rembrandt was actually painting a figure, a representation of that person 
that's spoken of in Hebrews 4.12. That person who's reading the word of God and seeing it as living and active as a double-edged sword as this the soldier is pictured here. Like, could can you imagine the soldier? Like, that's actually the Bible. This soldier is looking at the word of God. If you see in his eyes, he's looking with admiration. He's looking at this sword like it's filled with power. He's looking at the, the sword like, you know, that it's, it's going to do something. Do you look at this? that way, right? Do you see the word of God, the way that this guy is looking at this sword? I think that's what God wants. I think he wants us to see this, right? To see his love letter to us, right? And, and I think he wants us, he wants it close. He wants it in us. He wants it with us. He wants it near us, right? Because it's going to change us. It's going to transform us along with his spirit, along with his people. The word of God is what God will use to transform us. So I pray and I encourage you, and I'm not trying to be legalist, but I would love for you to bring your Bible to chapel this week. Have a great week. God bless you.